So as you see by the title, I am starting a new journey, okay? 21 days to a routine and 30 days to a new lifestyle. I am definitely trying to build some discipline this year and some structure in my everyday life, okay? Because right now, I am getting disciplined, but as far as structure, I lack. And I definitely lack discipline and I need to get it together. So this is the year of discipline for me to kind of just like you know put things into place going to sleep early waking up early um and just still trying to get enough hours of sleep and to still be able to do everything i need to do throughout the day so i built a list okay i built some structure for my day and i have everything listed um on this index card here that i'm going to be trying to do well i am going to do it because when you try you fail okay so we're just going to do it so yes i will be recording every single day for the next 30 days as far as like my wake up and um my work my walking gym life everything will be structured i do feel like i need to kind of be very disciplined in my life at this point because I'm trying to buy a house next year. I think I told you guys I was going to buy a car, but I actually sat down and rerouted a little bit and I'm going to buy a house next year. So I'm excited. So the money I'm saving is going to be a down payment. Um, but there's so many things that I need to do this year and I feel like without the structure, I'm going to be lost or without the discipline, um, things aren't going to get done. So, okay. All right, so let's get into like how I'm gonna break my day down because this is starting tomorrow. Let me see. Tomorrow is January 16th. So from January 16th to February 16th, this would be my life. And probably every day after that. So uh, I think after the 30 days, it may shift a little bit, um, you know, according to what's happening then or whatever, whatever. But I would have already built the structure. So I'm excited. So, I'll be waking up every day at 5.45 a.m. And at 6 a.m., I'll be going for a walk for an hour from 6 to 7. Then from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m., I'll be working on Messy Varnish. If you guys don't know what that is, I have a personnel business. So, um, there's a thousand and one things I need to do that I have already written up. So, I'm going to be doing that from 7 to 8. And then from 8 to 9, I'm going to be getting ready for work. Um... And then from 9 to 10, I'll be traveling to work. Now, I bought a book because I want to be able to read five or six, five to six books um, this year. So, we, me and baby yesterday went to the bookstore and, sorry, my phone is dying. So, yesterday, me and babe went to the bookstore and this is the book that I bought and um, I can't, wait to finish it i'm already well i just started it today so um i'm pretty early in the book but so far so good i'm really liking it so when i'm traveling i'm reading um this is definitely a little different for me because usually when i'm traveling i'm listening to my music so today has been amazing it definitely has given me some relaxation time even on the train with the chaos um i was able to get some reading in so I liked it. It was good. So, I read to work this morning. I read on my way home. So, that's what I'm going to be doing in the next um, 30 days as well. So, when I'm traveling, I'll be reading. Um, and then from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., usually that's around my work hours, which is usually 9.30 to 7 or even later. Um, I'll be at work where I'm just focusing on work and focusing on building my career there. And then um, from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m., I'll be going home to travel um hopefully if i can get off work by 7 30 every day um or about 7 30 every day then that will be good um and then somewhere between 7 and 8 i'm going to try to eat dinner as well and then from 8 to 9 8 to 9 well 8 to 10 i'll be working on messy varnish again so um, what I realized is that because I'm only going to have an hour in the morning to work on something, um, that would be to finish up whatever I couldn't finish up the night before or to definitely just kind of like get some things together, some to-do list, um, to try to finish up some graphic work or in the morning that can be like social media time 
and then later in the night it could be for my events that i'm planning or the new product that i'm coming out with to share um so um, i haven't figured out how i'm going to work my business hours as far as like um the things that i'm going to be doing in those times but um i'm sh you know putting the time in for that and then from 10 to 11 um i may go to the gym so i'm thinking because i don't believe that i'm going to go to the gym for 30 days straight right so the walking i would do that every day i'm not sure if i would do it twice a day but i definitely do it every day and then the days that i go to the gym then that that would change so if i decide to go to the gym some days i would definitely do it right after work so from seven to eight will be traveling and then from eight to nine it will be the gym and then my 10 will shift so we'll be go from me coming in the house and then from nine to ten kind of you know getting myself together and then from 10 to 12 i would do my business so technically that's where i'm at right now that's my timeline and i will leave that in the description box so yeah i'm trying to get like earlier days um earlier days up until a little bit longer in the nighttime almost um to try to see if i can squeeze so much stuff in in the day um i'm excited tomorrow is like day one i'm definitely going to record every single day of this crazy shit because it's definitely not going to be easy because 5 45 in the morning trying to do stuff before work to do stuff after work do stuff in between um is going to be a little difficult so i'm excited to see how this is going to go and i'm pretty sure this is definitely going to be one of the hardest things i've done in a long time okay so yes i'm gonna do that and then i have another video coming for you guys soon which is like living off of 20 dollars for seven days in new york as far as like with everything i need to do besides a metro car <laughs> okay so yeah i i just have to get that video together and i need to structure my life so that i can i'm really gonna be using the 20 dollars y'all for you so yeah um that's where I'm at right now. I'm just trying to build some discipline in my life because um, discipline is going to get me what's going to help me be more successful um, on building um, some structure. So I'm excited. You know, my boyfriend already, he's very disciplined. He's very structured when it comes down to being asleep at 9 p.m. and waking up at 5 a.m., that's kind of like what works for him um so yeah the 545 things work for me so from six to seven as either i'll be at the gym or i might go for a walk tomorrow morning depending on how cold it is so i'm excited yeah i'm excited to start my new routine to discipline <laughs> so yeah if you feel that you are very disciplined leave me some tips below on how i can definitely get my life right okay because listen your girl is struggling with discipline and i've been mentioning that to my boyfriend last year like i gotta get discipline i gotta get discipline and i haven't gotten it yet and i have some goals that's gonna like just tie right into me doing the structure so i'm actually pretty excited because i wake up in the morning and i'm excited for life and i'm excited to get shit done okay so hmm, look at me and i'm actually drawing something right now for my boyfriend something he gave me but i need to kind of like fix it and do all that stuff to it so you know he got me being picasso in here y'all i ain't going a lot of you <laughs> so yeah so yeah that's where i'm at right now um definitely leave your tips below on how i can definitely be disciplined and do you think that structuring your day for every hour is something that kind of helps um yeah so leave all that good stuff below and let's chit chat it up in the comment section and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys